And I don't use it too much, but use a ring-to-ring -ring friction saver. They're pretty cool. If I do use one, I usually set it from the tree, but once in a while, it's cool to have in your toolbox. And it's a really cool method and kind of magical the way you can set that from the ground. And I've had a couple times, uh, just recently I had an instant where somebody was asking me how to set that from the ground. And it has been a long time since I did that. And I couldn't remember how to make that uh, configured on the ground so I could set it into the tree. And um, after going through that, I've come up with a realization that I don't have to remember how to set it from the ground anymore. All I have to do is remember what it looks like when I get ready to set it from the ground. So this is this is the easy part. This is what you this is the way you want it when you get ready to set your climbing line. This is this is really all you have to remember. What you have to remember is that when when it comes time to remember this, put this on a little branch someplace just like this and pull it over backwards. This is exactly backwards from the way you're going to do it. And when it comes to you backwards, you end up with that configuration that for me was hard to remember. That is that is the configuration you want when you're setting it from the ground. I always put the small ring first. I always have the, the small ring on the left side so if it gets dark at night, I know which side to pull on. But that was the configuration I couldn't remember. And I realize, because when you set this from the ground, of course, it goes up, and there you are. You're back to that configuration. That's what you want. But I could not remember that configuration right there. So all you have to do is set it in a tree and run it backwards, and now you're back to the configuration, at least for me, that I couldn't remember.